what up youtube listen you guys i'm gonna keep this short man bad news almost blew the funded account you guys um blew another valuation account so things just ain't just didn't pan out really good for your boy man they, they really they really didn't pan out for you man um i'm not even gonna lie you guys i wanted this video to um this little weekly series to be just nothing but positivity and good news but i want to keep it always 100 with you guys and um, this is also good for me. So let's go ahead and just kind of go into it real quick. You guys, this is my PA account currently down six thousand two hundred eighty six dollars. Um, but because of the trailing drawdown, um, I actually am down about almost seven thousand dollars. You guys. Now, I will say one thing. I was at about like four hundred three hundred and ninety dollars was the lowest that I was at. And so as of right now, I actually made a little bit of money. Um, and now I'm at 642, right? So, um, there's my P my funded account is on life support. It's definitely on life support right now. So I truly have to put a lot of time and effort into this account. You guys, um, honestly, uh, and then uh, let's just go to the evaluated account. So I, I, burnt through two as you can tell i ain't got no evals right now so um the one the one eval that i do have it resets on the 6th of august so i'm gonna go ahead and just wait it's a little 50 bucks ain't nothing so we're just gonna wait till uh tuesday comes and then we'll start trading that again once again the goal is to pass this eval from by the 15th but um since i ain't got one right now i'm just focusing on this uh funded account right now so uh the goal I, I mean obviously we don't want to lose it right there's just no point i was thinking i'm like fuck it let me just focus on the eval but blew the eval and now i got the funded and since i still have the account technically i still have a chance to save it and so i think that's just what i gotta do man it just doesn't make any sense at least for me to wait another two weeks to a month to pass an account and then i gotta trade another 10 days trading days before i can even qualify for a, um, a, a payout so i'm gonna just work and run this account that i got right now you know so that's the point we'll just we'll just do it like that we'll just do it like that so um we're just gonna keep it short you guys it really ain't not much to it let's go ahead and talk about the let's talk about what nas uh smp did real quick you guys so smp did what i said it was gonna do once again which was at least bridge this gap now the time that it did it because i thought we were gonna break past these lows on like wednesday or thursday we actually only did that on friday we approached we uh closed this gap on thursday and then we just plummeted straight down on thursday and friday closed through the down it so we're officially bearish now we are officially bearish you guys officially bearish we took down the the highest um the lowest 40 day low let lowest 40 day low you guys i was around here i think it was like right here or something like that we took that out already so we're officially bearish the i think that at, in terms of where this bearish momentum will take us who knows who fucking knows i really don't know i'm expecting it to be we're just gonna have it bearish until fucking maybe we close maybe we, we, we take this out right maybe we take this out and then come over here in this area and i don't fucking know honestly i really don't know I, at this point man i'm just i'm just trying to pass this i just gotta i just gotta get my account back man i gotta I got get my fucking account back so i'm um, not in the best mind state but i am prepared um i took a lot of time exercising took a lot of time to exercise took a lot of time to like really understand what the hell i'm doing from the chart perspective um, we're officially bare so i definitely at least have a trend bias now so that's gonna help your butt your boy out a little bit more um but yeah so we are on an emergency recovery mode and drawdown and so uh just go ahead and take one more good look you guys because if it if um you know i still got i i got a chance 642 dollars left to draw down i still got a chance honestly the little static the little static 100k static drawdowns they only give you 625 dollars to work with with a drawdown and you have to make 2000 to pass that i passed two of those so at the very least i could at least turn this account to a pop profit of two thousand dollars right and so if i take it to a profit of two thousand dollars 
she your boy's good at that point your boy's good pretty much you know what i mean i could i could easily run it back up to 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 break even and then make an additional seventy six hundred dollars to, to to qualify for a drawdown so or a payout so um yeah not much to talk about man um i wish i had better news for you guys um i got kittens i got kittens and these motherfuckers are getting annoying right now man had some people said that I probably should have put them on YouTube and just, you know, posted them. But honestly, I don't know, man. I'm just trying to stay as focused as possible right now, you guys. And um, I don't know, man. This trading shit, at least, it, it, I'll, I'll leave off with this. At the very least, if there's one thing I can say is that even just passing this 300K account, a challenge, plus the other two $100,000 accounts, I know how to trade. The best way to... I, now I just got to be a consistently profitable trader, right? I'm, I'm consistently profitable enough to pass, but now I got to be consistently profitable enough to also uh, qualify for withdrawal payouts as well as continuous payouts. And I think that's a different challenge, obviously. So um, there's no doubt about it. I know how to trade. I can trade. I can pass these accounts. I can make some money. And now it's time to just make the fucking money, you guys, and, and, and just do it, you know. So um, I'll let you guys know the analysis of this week. Let's go ahead and do that. I know I'm kind of all over the place real quick. So let's just do the analysis for the week, you guys. So if we look at the weekly, uh, let's see here. If we look at the weekly we already tapped into this fair value gap down here, so we're definitely going to punch through it the, um, this week. But we do got this gap right here. As you can tell, it's a liquidity void up here. So we're definitely, at some point, sometime this week, going to come back up here and retrace to cover this up. If we don't cover this by this week, we'll definitely do it by next week or on the way back upwards. But I'm expecting us to kind of tap into this areas up a little bit as you can tell we got the previous day lows and previous day highs all up here so i'm expecting at some point maybe tuesday and wednesday to kind of come back up here reject off of this area and come down we're just going to keep going down and down and down you guys but uh we're definitely going to be into this area so expect some move to 5214.25 um at some point don't really know um maybe we'll actually touch down here maybe we'll actually go past uh the 5020 level um maybe maybe but i'm ex i'm definitely expecting us by the end of the week to be somewhere down in this area you guys for sure easily 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 so i'm um, thinking maybe monday tuesday uh probably gonna be some uh we're probably gonna approach some yeah if you look at the monthly here you guys we got man look at this yeah we could easily go past this 50 level and then you know how traders in the international um institutional funds love big uh, round numbers so we're probably actually going to break the 5000 level and we'll probably tap into this this is this is the level where there is a fair value gap on the monthly so we're going to expect some very high bullish momentum to kind of kind of like counteract all this bearish pressure that we've been having so um that's looking nice you know look at this we also got some nice little pools of uh, um, bull side liquidity that'll help us you know bounce up a little bit so maybe tuesday wednesday we'll probably get some little up days that's looking nice you guys yeah but uh as, as for the most part you guys we're definitely going to go down we're definitely going down so we're going to get some nice i'm um, looking for some nice sell positions on um hourly and 30 minute that's my plan the only way that i, I can see possibly saving this account is by just taking the highest probability trades which is going to be in the hourly and a 30 minute hourly 30 minute and somewhat of the 15 minute and there are gonna have to be sales. There's just gonna have to be some sales. You know, I'm gonna get some buys here and there, but for the most part, your boy's definitely looking for the sales, man. You gotta look for the sales, and hopefully, you know, we you know we're definitely gonna get this motherfucker back, man. So uh that's that's pretty much it. That's the quick and down and dirty of it. If we look at the Dow Jones, you guys, Dow Jones is also going down like a motherfucker, but you guys already knew that. Um we take a look at the monthly here uh we're not gonna see any bullish pressure until we get down to the 37 level you know so uh yeah we're looking very bearish for probably the next few months to be quite honest with you i don't know though but we'll see we'll fucking see man I, at the end of the day all y'all really care about is the money so let me i just you know whatever fuck it i'm into this video i'll see you guys next time man shit